President Obama's preference in the 2016 presidential race finally leaked its way to the media. So the Hill reports here. President Obama urged a closed-door gathering of Democratic donors to rally around Hillary Clinton, telling them Bernie Sanders' campaign is nearing its end. Obama acknowledged to the donors that Clinton suffers from a perceived lack of authenticity, but called it an overrated political virtue. Obama said that his predecessor, George W. Bush, was thought to be an authentic politician, but reminded donors he successfully ran against Bush's record in his first presidential campaign. Wow. Wow. So this is President Obama meeting with big money donors. Some of the plates at this uh, gathering and this dinner cost up to $33,000. This is him telling them, okay, let's get serious here. We're all going to line up behind Hillary, right? And I know, I know, maybe the Democratic base and maybe many people in the country don't like her. They don't think she's authentic when you look at the polls. Uh, she's super low when it comes to trustworthiness. She, people view her as untrustworthy. But he's like, whatever, man. Whatever. He says that's something that's easy to overcome. Authenticity. Keeping it real, being honest. Overrated in politics. People thought Bush was authentic. So what? See, I ended up being able to defeat him running on his legacy. So authenticity is overrated. Man, that is so telling. That is so telling. Well, number one, what I would argue is Bush may have appeared authentic, but he wasn't authentic. Uh, and number two, Hillary is also not authentic. And that is a problem. And it's not just a problem for perception reasons. It's a problem because she's not authentic. It's a problem because when she talks about the stuff she talks about today when she tries to pretend like she's as progressive as uh, Bernie Sanders, it's not true. She's lying. She, oh, yeah, I'm totally against the TPP, I swear. Me? In favor of free trade deals? What, are you crazy? Well, we have a history of you being for NAFTA, and we have a history of you pushing for the TPP 45 times. And now you're like, I'm totally against it, let me tell you. Keystone, there's that great clip of Keystone. Hey, are you in favor of Keystone? <laughs> I'll get back to you, I don't know. <laughs> and then later she's like, oh, yeah, I'm totally against it, bro. I don't know what you guys are talking about. So this, now Bernie Sanders has pushed her in this direction, but the thing is with Hillary, if you believe it, you're a sucker, or you just don't know the facts uh, of her career, you don't know her history, and you don't know how much money industry gives her. And isn't it amazing that he made these comments to those same donors? He's like, don't worry, we can override the authenticity thing, just give her more money. That's the whole point of his speech. He's like, yeah, no, no, come on. We'll rally behind her, you give her money, and we'll override the fact that people don't fucking trust her. No, but see that, you're doing it right now! That's the reason we don't trust her! The big money donors... <sighs> okay. The thing is, when you look at President Obama, when you look at Hillary Clinton, when you look at Bill Clinton, this is today's Democratic Party. They are super corrupt. Now, the Republicans are even more corrupt. But the thing about a politician like Obama is he plays within the rules. He accepts the system as it is. Now, to be fair to him, he does as much as he can do within that rotting, grotesque system. But he's part of the system. Now, the reason why he prefers Hillary to somebody like Bernie is She's of the same mindset and of the same mold, and if anything, even further to the right than he is in the context of this spectrum. So Obama looks at Hillary and thinks, well, she's not going to blow up the system. She's not going to get the big money out of the political system. What she's going to do is try to be somewhat liberal within the system of the establishment and corporate money running the show. And Obama views that as like, like oh, that's pragmatism. That's just accepting the reality of politics for what it is and then working to try to make it, the world a better place. So he has this view where the, the system being corrupt is just an of course. Like, it just is what it is. Like, what are you going to do? You have to play within that system. And Hillary agrees with that. And Hillary partakes in that. Now, Bernie Sanders comes along and he's like, fuck that. I want to change the whole system. You got to at least fight for it. You have to. We can't keep going like this. Today's Democratic Party is like an old school Republican Party because the money has watered them down so much in their so-called progressive positions. Obama looks at that and he's like, oh, 
naive idealist. He's like a child. You know, you got to accept the reality of the system for what it is, and then you work within that system. He's like, fuck that, I don't want to work within that system. Well, I was like, well, then I, somebody like me can't support you. And therein lies the difference between the Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton wing of the Democratic Party, and, you know, the other Democratic senators save the, and uh, congressmen save the Progressive Caucus, versus the Bernie Sanders wing, Keith Ellison wing, Alan Grayson wing, you name it, where they're like... No, I want to change the fucking system. This is not, this is not okay the way that uh, this works. And this is not what the American people want. So there you have it. He comes out and he says this. Now, many people, when Obama first ran, they kind of fell for his rhetoric. But if you actually go back and listen now, in fact, I challenge you to go back and listen to some of his speeches and go back and listen to some of the debates, if you want, between uh, Barack Obama, Senator Obama at the time, and Hillary Clinton. And what you'll find is... He actually kind of was clearly more of the, the Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton model. It, he, gave, he was big on rhetoric, like flowery rhetoric. Like, oh yeah, hope and change and we need to break down the barriers that are holding people back. And this is the same kind of stuff Hillary says. And you'll notice when they talk like that, it's vague niceties. It lacks policy specifics. So Obama was clearly looking back at it, more of the kind of politician that Hillary Clinton is and Bill Clinton is. Whereas Bernie Sanders, you know he ain't fucking around because he says it every single fucking speech. I want a political revolution. We got to get the money out of the system. The billionaires uh, have corrupted this goddamn thing. We got to get universal health care. We got to get universal education. And he's giving you the details. Obama looks like, oh, stop it. Why not just give me some, some watered down, vague, generalized comments with nice words that allow me to pretend like I'm super on the side of the people as I cut deals behind the scenes with corporations. And then I want to leave you with one more thing here. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest weighed in on this. He said, President Obama made a case that would be familiar to all of you, which is that our success in November in electing a Democratic president is dependent on the commitment and ability of the Democratic Party to come together behind our nominee. Now, if you don't speak politician, let me break this down for you, what he's saying is, come on guys, we have to pick a candidate that can get the entire Democratic Party behind her. And what that means is not just the people, not just the voters, the Democratic establishment, the actual party itself, the people in Washington, and the Democratic donors. So... It, basically, this is a, a backhanded, uh, you know, snub of Bernie here to say, well, us winning in November is contingent upon the commitment and ability of the Democratic Party to come together behind our nominee. In other words, Bernie Sanders, he's not going to get the Democratic politicians behind him. He's not going to get the Democratic donors behind him. Therefore, he's not going to get the Democratic Party behind him. So got to go for Hillary because she plays ball. Yet again, this is all you need to know about today's Democratic Party. And furthermore, when you look at President Obama, this really dispels the notion, to steal from Marco Rubio, that he is a progressive. No, the best I'll give Obama is he's as far left as he can be while accepting the framework of the system. So accepting corporate money, accepting the establishment runs everything, uh, accepting that it's super corrupt. He's as far left as you can be within that system, which is still overall center right and pro corporate and pro establishment. And Hillary Clinton's of the same model and mode as her as him. So that's who he loves. And there's no more question about it. It's perfectly clear now.